Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Sorry, it's been a while since I actually posted. A lot has been going on in my life. I just actually bought a new car today. November's pretty serious. My birthday month. It's our wedding anniversary month. Thanksgiving, all these things are happening. So haven't had a lot of time to make any content, but here we are today. Also guys, I just want to give a huge shout out to you. We hit 800 subscribers and we just keep getting more and more every single day. I think like two videos ago, I was saying thanks for 600 subscribers. This past month, we've gotten over 200 subscribers. So thank you guys so much for your support. Thank you for watching the videos, supporting the channel and just being awesome. We are back with another Battle Night video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about some halodomes. We're gonna do a little guide about halodomes, how to use them, where to use them, and who to use them with. So let's get right into it. All right, here we go, guys. First things first, this is obviously an introduction slash semi beginner mid game guide this isn't an in-depth guide by any means this is not a late game guide but just something you guys can kind of follow kind of use as a guideline to what kind of hal what chalodomes you actually use on your characters so the basics let's cover those real quick halodomes it's pretty much like another gear set beneath your champion depending on the rarity of your champion so blue purple gold obviously that depends on how many halodomes you get so you either get two four or six halodomes i could scroll down here to a blue character super duper fast holy cow i've got so many purples Boom, you see there, it's uh, two slots, four slots, and then we scroll up, we'll do this, and boom, six spots for the orange characters. Now, each set of gems slash halodomes, you can call them, they're, call they're called gems here and halodomes here. Not sure why, but that's okay. Each halodome ha set has a special, unique characteristic to it whether you have a two piece a four piece or a six piece crispy chicken tender meal depending on how many of these halodomes you get activates each level that you have and these halodomes also come with a base stat on them that is completely random you cannot change the base stat either as far as i know but you can upgrade your halodomes depending on when you feel like you need to my suggestion is i personally have not leveled up any of my halodomes because i haven't gotten stuck in pve and i'm doing just fine and it's nice because i can actually continue to save up my currency to spend on my halodomes for when all of my main team has gold ones and i could even use them on gold ones right now if i so wanted to but you never know your team might change in the future things might happen so you never really know now how do we get these halodomes well there's a couple ways the main way is going to be the shielded mine which we're going to travel to in just a second but there's also some halodomes in the store when you save up your currency from the dawn cinema your dawn cinema store also has gem sets that you could buy it's an automatic gold one obviously it's randomized on the base stat like i said earlier and you can also get some halodomes from the arcade some purple ones if you get lucky on the normal one and then there's some in the royale arcade as well that you can roll for so let's go over to the shielded mine and talk about each set real quick all right here we are guys we're going to enter the shielded mine and a way you could guys could just check what's going on here what type of halodomes uh, are available you just go to the mining section and then you can just click on them boom there you go some people never even realized there was the ocean core and the eye of limbo halodomes slash gems uh so these are gems they have little explanations here and the dark blue core the baddest power of the sea is surging so let's go through this let's talk about what kind what which characters we would put these on yeah, real quick there's six different halodomes six different 
sets that you can mix and match. You could have a four piece and a two piece set, or you could just go with the full on six piece set. So first of all, Ocean Core, this is more of a set that's for like tanks. It's uh, it increases the tenacity of your hero when the battle begins by 20%. Tenacity makes your champion less likely to get hit by a critical hit. So that's what's good about tenacity. Not only that, but deep wounds immunity by 20% as well. So immunity to deep wounds means they will have a better chance to not obtain it from when you're in PVE and you see that little health, that red little health box above your character. Deep wounds actually lessens your regeneration ability, AKA what's coming out from your healers or if your champion heals themselves blood sucking, things like that. It reduces the amount of health you receive. So that's the two piece when the four piece, when suffering crit damage increases heroes tenacity by 25% for two rounds. And then the six piece when suffering crit damage, if the hero has not yet died, recovers 30% of the damage suffered as health. So as you guys can see, just, just like any other core in any set, the six piece is gonna be the most powerful one you can obtain. That's definitely what you want to go for, or at least a four piece when you're building any champion. This set would obviously be good on your frontline champions, your tanks, things like that. But honestly, I just unlocked Ocean Core. So if you're in the early to mid game ish, I feel like I'm a little bit later than mid game. Um, I haven't really decided if I'm going to use these yet. Really, I really like Magnetic uh, Stone. The magnetic stone set because there's just straight up damage immunity and it gives deep wounds to the enemies and even this one this last uh we'll go ahead and cover this actually since we're on the magnetic stone the six piece for the magnetic stones is when under a fatal attack makes this hero immortal for the round increases speed and blood sucking by 50 percent i feel like that's a great little trait and that has been working this set has been working great on my charlotte and it could work great on whoever you got in your front line your patroclus or aka petroleum bb would do good in this i have my phoebe in this next set we're going to talk about just the two-piece set because it gives her a little bit more accuracy and a little bit of attack so she's dealing out a little bit more damage and she's got a little accuracy so she lands her hits more uh, the four piece for the Twilight Crystal set is going to be when attacking, there will be a 30% probability to render the target stun and unable to attack for this round. Here's a secret with the Twilight Crystals here, guys, especially early to mid game. Put a four piece of this on your Westerly or your Garuda or some type of support you're using because uh, preferably Westerly and Gar Garuda because their first activated ability hits the whole team the whole enemy team so think about that 30 percent chance on each of those hits this counts for each of those hits trust me i've tried it i've used it and i was like dude this is awesome like it stuns them and stuns are everything in this game guys like it's crowd control is everything in any game obviously but you gotta have stuns in this game definitely gotta have those and the six speed the six six piece set that's hard to say uh, when the battle begins, increases hero's own speed by 25%, accuracy by 50%, and attack by 30% for four rounds. This is definitely a set I feel like a six-piece set would be good on, definitely on Phoebe. I would, I could see this, your attack is increased by 30%, so maybe someone like Harp or someone who's dealing more damage on your team more of a kind of a damage dealer you put in your mid row maybe like your mistalin or your Addis or your kratos people like that those middle row champions maybe even a back row champion kind of the assassin type champions i feel like this would be good on especially that flat attack percent boost that 30 percent that's quite nice but obviously if you're in the early to mid game there's a high chance you're not gonna have the six piece set so like i said if you can at least get a four piece set on one of your supports and maybe throw a two piece set on your assassin and then give it some 
uh maybe a two-piece set of our next one the crimson uh crimson bone the coral crimson bone interesting name you get two and two so when the battle begins it increases the crit rate by 10 percent. so that's a good mixture the twilight and the coral uh crimson bone you can mix those two up those two up with your purple champions obviously or you could give it a four piece set uh when attacking there's a 20 percent probability to increase hero's own crit rate by 100 percent for two rounds so that means for two rounds you're guaranteeing critical hits on the champion that you have this four piece set equipped to now obviously uh, one of the things about this game is you just got to farm these things and if oh, it almost feels like you don't really get them a lot from doing the digs, you know, and you only get five digs a day unless you want to go for the VIP and things like that. So it's quite difficult to obtain these halodomes as a purple because each rarity, there's uh, green, blue, obviously, and purple and gold. But you have to have four purples in order to get the four piece activated set. All right. Does that make sense? Hope it does. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. We're going through this pretty fast. So let's see. Six pieces. This is something we can look forward to when attacking deals an extra 5% damage of target's current health. That's insane. This damage will not surpass 200% of heroes own attack. To me, this seems like it would be good for like uh, any clan boss. If you're if you're kind of in more into late game and you're trying to like hit big clan boss numbers or even doing during the dawn cinema event when there's that big boss that you have to uh, every day you could hit and you could see how much damage you get. And depending on how much damage you do, you get more gems as the reward and things like that that this would be a good set for that i feel like and guys you can always trade out these sets depending on what enemy you're facing or are you doing clan boss are you doing don cinema you know is it the silver chariot where you need more accuracy maybe you want to throw on some twilight crystals to get more accuracy maybe you're facing the burning dude that has no head i don't remember what his name is Maybe you want to put something on that maybe helps heal the team because he does fire damage. Things like that you want to think about. You can interchange these all the time. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You can experiment. That's what I love about these games at zero cost as long as you have the gems, which is the only part that I'm a little eh about is like it's tough to get a full set of gold holodomes in this game. I, I know I... You get a full, they give you a full set i'm pretty sure as you progress in the whole game that's the only reason why my harp has a full gold set of the abyss gems which we will cover next i actually really like these uh, the abyss uh, gem set myself so when the battle begins your health is increased by 10 percent nice get a little health health boost four piece when attacking there's a 30 percent probability to recover a hundred percent of attack as health for two of our units with the lowest health it's healing it's healing so obviously this is going to work better on champions that do more damage so if you could put a four piece of this like i have a four piece of this set on my pole the dude holding the cannon man and he's gold so when he does damage he does damage and if he's healing on his activated skill that's a lot of health and a lot more sustainability for your team i have i think i have four three characters out of my lineup that actually have this ability i actually think i have this on my phoebe as well that way her attacks also heal too so think about that man the, the abyss gym is like introductory into the per into the purple and the gold gym world and the halodome world but i still think it's a core uh, set to use when you're trying to progress in the game that healing comes in such clutch and then the six piece set at the start of each round get an extra 30 rage points boom that's awesome rage points obviously is that bar that fills up the yellow bar beneath your champion and when it fills up it activates that skill one they use their special attack boom extra every round you get 30 rage points you get even closer to where you're activating that even more this is a beast on my harp harp is such a good champion with this six piece set on him i love it he wrecks he does tons of damage so our last but not least halodome of the night guys 
is the eye of limbo i always think of inception when i think about limbo and that movie if you've seen inception let me know in the comments but this is a more of a late game gem you could also use it mid game too but you can see i haven't even gotten it unlocked yet in my progress i'm still trying to get there but this is like a dodge set so let's go through it when battle begins increases hero's own dodge by 10 percent and control immunity by 20 percent these gems are going to be good on champions that have a dodge kit and if you just want to make a dodge champion out of the blue if you have a set of eye of limbo with the base stat is dodge you can have dodge as a base stat on a halodome you could throw a bunch of these on there and he could just be a dodging machine there was a guy who posted a video of a Raphael who had dodge gear on him and literally he couldn't kill him when his whole team was alive and Raphael was the last one. This is one of the issues that uh, the late game part of the Battle Knight community is running into. It's like, how do we counter this? How do we counter the dodge meta that's going on right now? And so this is also something you can look forward to. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. If you're choosing to be patient with this game and take it to end game like in end game like i'm talking about these guys are from server one and server two the four piece when under attack increases hero's own dodge by 30 percent this effect will be removed when the hero triggers dodge uh while they're under attack get 30 more percent dodge well there you go uh right now there's a perfect higher event going on for nymeria this set is perfect for nymeria nymeria is good too you don't need this set just for her to be good either Use Nymeria. She's a great champion and she obviously evolves into a gold champion. Six piece set, Eye of Limbo, permanently increase tenacity by 20%. When under attack, increase extra 10% damage immunity for this round. Crazy, crazy Halodome set right here. Obviously, you could you could just see it in your mind just how on any champion this would be really good. It's kind of a well-rounded set as well to use on whichever champion so guys that pretty much covers all of the halodomes what i think about them and how to use it on them real quick i want to jump over to my champions show you what sets i got and then we out all right for starters like i said magnetic stone i focused on health percent base stat and tenacity base stat give her some health give her some resistance to critical hits and I can only get a four piece set and two two piece sets. So this is another thing about the Halodomes. You can get a four and two two piece sets. So that means I'm getting a two piece. I'm getting two of the damage immunity increased by 10%. So you can see it's a two, a two and a four. Once I get the full six set, boom, I'll have all of the stuff unlocked like i do on the harpy then you have each level unlocked on your champion the six the four and the two each level stays it's not just oh you have six levels you only get the sixth level no it's you get each level as you can see here that's what these little symbols mean and like i said earlier i have my harp in the full gold abyss gym set he's a beast with it Raphael, I put him in magnetic stones too, gave him some dodge, some health, and a little bit of accuracy. That's kind of all I had. Like, I really don't have a lot to work with, guys. And I I dig in that mine every day, just like you do. Trust me. Here we have Phoebe. Like I said earlier, I gave her some twilight sets to give her some accuracy. The base stats were health percent and tenacity. Then a four-piece gem set with accuracy, tenacity, two tenacity, and one health percent she heals she gets some health and she also has that 30 percent probability with the accuracy and attack so she does really good damage actually it's, it's definitely a balanced off tank build with this gym set that i have on her with my pull like i said boom all the way across the board i have attack percent the best attack percent uh items i could put on him i don't use the crimson bone because i have samuel and Samuel gives him enough crit to last throughout the round to where he's most of his shots, he's landing a critical damage shot. So I put him in the Abyss Gym set 
and I also threw a Twilight Crystal set on him just for a little bit more accuracy and a 5% increase in his attack. So I have the two, the two from the Abyss Gym set and the four from the Abyss Gym set. And finally, for any support, uh, excluding Westerly and Garuda, don't forget about them. Don't forget about their ability. We'll go through them real quick. Here I see I don't even have enough of these. Like I probably, okay, so I have some here that I could definitely replace with on my on my Samuel so we could give him that we can give him uh, maybe some accuracy why not just give him some accuracy stuff so he's landing more of his hits as well and he's getting that activated magnetic stone that four piece set there Samuel you're a beast we love you and finally like I said guys here we have oh no I put him on my Garuda the four piece set with the Garuda or activated ability whips deals damage to all enemy units that means with these this halodome set with the twilight set whichever damage she does she has a 30 percent probability to render the target stun and I would put westerly in that too but I don't think I have enough uh, purple twilight crystals so guys that is it for the holodome guide today if you have any questions leave a comment below don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video